goons listen, and Hopefully, you listen good. Devolver will be a lot a better than about the marketing Jeff Keighley's Summer to Games to Fest. They are bored to as I called it, the Summer that. Snooze the Fest. <laughs> the hell you have. Yeah. What you've done are Don't worry, you didn't miss much by not seeing it. Fancy <laughs> transitions, expensive pre-recorded presentations, fake live events, live live events, and some dipshit narrative garbage that didn't go anywhere. Melissa, data. The data is clear. The industry analytics point to fragmented attention in every consumer focused sector but one. And that is the that freaking like clamshell phone. Yeah. minute celebrity soaked attention yeah. grab countdowns before a company's huh. actual presentation actually starts actually. They are big, dumb, wasteful, empty, and they work. She's right. I want to let Of course I'm fucking right. <laughs> so this year, we're counting down. That's the focus. The countdown. It's all about the countdown. No holds barred. If anything goes, all stops pulled out of where the fuck stops are that people keep pulling them out of. Yeah, okay, sure. But what are we counting down yeah, to? I don't go much like, to commentate on the funny parts, zero? you know? It's okay. <laughs> Doesn't they're they're already funny. Matter. You can propose oh, yeah. mysteries for all I care. <laughs> I just want big number consumer eyeballs drying out as they watch a marketing laden countdown where we're drip feeding them brand awareness and purchase intent until they climax in their G Fuel soaked gamer chairs. No, not yet. Gross. Ew. I'm getting it though. <laughs> so who do we have on deck to host this thing? I mean, we need someone, right? Do, do a celebrity? Ooh, can we get James Vanderbeek? <laughs> Team Pacey, huh? I'm just saying to the people. A gonna... giant fucking robot with whoever the shit we want inside of it hosting our show. Inside of it. Hosting our show. I'm sorry, what? Hold. We've designed, developed, and deployed a wideband interlocal net modulated telepresence experience through which a virtual host can virtually host our virtually hosted countdown broadcast. So what, like a Zoom call? No, no, not like a Zoom. Margaret? Now. They got a giant robot. Holy shit. It's made of cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? What's up, n -n -n <laughs> It's Suda 51. What? Why? Of all people. <laughs> Becca Suda 51. Yeah. <laughs> and he's also Max Headroom? Yes. <laughs> he's counting down. It's the countdown. <laughs> Uh, this is really where did they trap Suda? Uh, I noticed you stopped counting the numbers. 20 whatever is not a number, my guy. <laughs> Let me see if we can get you some kind of a break from the numerals. Madge. My name's Margaret. Shut up, Madge. Does this, does this thing, uh, I'm sorry. Does this thing have access to the feeds? Yes. It has access to the feed. All feeds, every the feeds on the planet, heck, even deep into translocal space. With a little extra juice, we could even transmit all the way to Sure, yeah, strong, can it, uh, can he, can he do trailers? Yes. Trailers, number station feeds, launch codes, replicant intent dates, satellite destruct instructions, suggestive TikTok dances, the basics. <laughs> it's also equipped to the tricordal thermonuclear central mass displacement cannon. Hot stuff. Uh, give me the button. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. As a nuke launcher, they just sort of made a Metal Gear the for their into the Devolver Digital Market yeah. Countdown to marketing and give the fine audience at home something to throw money at their screens for. Throwing money at their screen is effective. Open up a cult of glam release date trailer. Fifty-nine and three-quarter million dollars, and we use it to hawk a video game. Here. Off, Time for video games. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure this is Cult of the Lamb. Yeah. I, I, I forgot what the name was, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. this game a couple times and it still looks cute. <laughs> it does? It's supposed to be a red light, right? I like believe? Yeah, we're I like think the you also like you know, look your town and everything. Yeah, it's like a half town builder, half roguelite. Kind of like Dark Cloud, I imagine, in some elements. Yeah. You know, where it had like the randomized dungeon segments, but then it also had the town building segments. Oh my god, it's like Pokemon Miss Dungeon, yeah. that one on 3DS. And Actual <laughs> there. Who, Devolver? No, we didn't make that. <laughs> Massive monster made it. Yeah. People are gonna be obsessed when it drops. If you don't really make games, oh. just the videos? Well, no, not just the videos. We're the publisher. We publish the games. That's important stuff, you know. It's basically the same thing as making the games without all the, you know, effort, creativity, time, energy that goes into making said game. <laughs> I think of us as a humanitarian service, like FEMA. Crocs. You guys see the numbers? <laughs> Crocs. Cheap game or whatever did us a duper mad spike. Wild stuff. Really wild stuff. Really wondering what he's drinking. Tastes like baby food. Have you guys seen the numbers? I know, right? No, it's like don't reverse know. lean. What do you know? I know the numbers keep going uh. like this. I'm gonna buy a house. What's going on? Is it working? On the fucking moon. Like, you know, pre sales, engagement. But these numbers are like nothing we've ever seen. Well, that's good though, right? Too good. Nina, these numbers are like nothing anyone has seen. Something's wrong, and we need to tell Hazel this needs to stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, sport. Just corral up all your little horses, take a breath, make some sense. Well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't make sense. It can't make sense. According to the tracking, we just- Are you guys fucking with the numbers? No one's fucking with anything. We just rolled a shit hot trip. What the holy heck is going on with these numbers? What's at the end of 2001 with gigantic Jupiter space baby and Dave's all shriveled up and the computer's going nuts like beep boop 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 beep boop. Oh, this thing is happening. It's strange. It's a time difference. Assembler. Hmm, it's strange. This data is taking a lot of time. That's a weirdly specific amount of time. I wonder if. Huh. I hope to trip. Oh, I oh, remember is it this anchor one. foot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. I remember oh, seeing this like a... before. I've played like the Alpha or whatever, and uh, wow, this came far. <laughs> yeah, it must be getting like its full Holy... release. I, I didn't even notice it was gonna be a full game. I thought it was just like a little demo thing when I first played it. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, because what I remember from it, right, because I remember seeing this before, it's basically like Hotline Miami, but for, F, you know, like an actual FPS, as opposed to Top Down. Yes, yeah, pretty much. Just Twitch shooter with... You're very, you're ridiculously powerful, but you know, you also so are a glass cannon. Yeah. <laughs> what an amazing trailer. あの<笑><笑> 
Yeah, kick the door. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is so much better than the Summer Games Fest. There's no comp in that. That was an accident. Holy butts, another engagement spike. The chat's going nuts. So our social mind share ratings and marketing relevancy are shooting through the roof. Somebody tell me what the shit is going on. Moon house. A fucking house on the moon. What if it's it's the... Yeah, 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 that's great. What if it's the... Yeah, no, yeah, what if it's the trailers? Hey, you big dumb robot, uh, do you think... Gives you stories too. Thinking about things like oh. that. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking something Kudo like wrote his own dialogue for this. I, I believe he did. Probably did. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is like Card Shark, right? I remember seeing this in like what a movie. What is it? World. It's a, uh, it's like effectively you're like cheating in cards. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're playing like poker games and stuff like that, and you have to cheat, like intentionally. Huh. Interesting. Available already. Yeah, another massive spike. Like, big time massive. What do the numbers look like, though? They just, just keep going up. It's absolutely insane. This isn't real. This can't be real. It's like some kind Video of... Video game! Singularity! <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it can't be. Did he just say video game singularity? Oh my god. Wait, what are we talking about right now? Video game singularity is a hypothetical monomoment of absolute corporate convergence. <laughs> An event horizon into which kaleidoscopically manifold fractionated conglomerate interests are inescapably pulled and at a single point of infinite density, compressed against the entropic inevitability of like, I don't know, years of inter-industry corporate mergers, acquisitions between developers, publishers, platform holders, and soulless holding companies. Everyone buying, merging with, and acquiring everyone else until the only fucking thing left anymore is one giant, thick, throbbing... Ultra Ultraman, an omni-company eating up everything in its way! It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't They're feel pity or remorse of, you know, or fear, and it absolutely Xbox will not stop buying ever. Everything. <laughs> well, everything is one thing, and that one thing is... Yeah. Everything. And that thing is us? Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ! So two moon houses? You're not getting it, Zane. Imagine all platforms, all iconic characters, all methods of monetization, all hotballed up into one monopolistic orgy of interactive video entertainment. Imagine streaming your favorite prequel as a service on 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 your virtual phone while you're sitting on a toilet in a in a metaverse Taco Bell while you while you have Sonic the Hedgehog in a committed non-monogamous relationship with with that huge lady from Resident Evil, and they are they could be playing Apex Fort Zone on an Atari Dream Station 64. And it Holy would shit! Be free to play. <laughs> or play to earn. Man, you do ah, we do ah. Hey, <laughs> to earn. Hate to earn. How did this happen? It's the mech. It's gotta be. It's the only thing powerful enough to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Well. All right, what's this one? Mm, I don't immediately recognize it. I don't know if I've seen this before. Once upon a time, there was a plucky squire named Jot. Full name. Jot roamed the land in search oh, this of adventure. Is charming. Battle with <laughs> yes. beasts. Helpless, helpless. <laughs> and generally being very heroic. <laughs> but then one day he discovered something rather curious. Oh, oh it's also a 3D game. A world. Yo, he this is cool. Existed. Ah. 
Okay. There's a very loud motorcycle outside. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this has a ton of stuff going on, actually. That looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm interested with that. Wow, it's even pseudo things it's cool. <laughs> I can't tell if it's just that these games are amazing or if it's... What the fuck happened to my shirt? <laughs> What's going on? Is this a singularity? I just got sent a review copy of Metal Gear Cooking Mama Mobile. I don't even know what that means. Do you even know what that means? The, the industry's folding in on itself. Metal Gear <laughs> Cookie Mama game could be real. That could, that, that could happen. Yeah. G Fuel just put in an offer to buy Valve. Microsoft bought Bethesda again, <laughs> just for fun. Just what the ever shitting fuckfire have you assholes done now? Oh, um, uh, Plucky Squire. We just did the Plucky Squire thing. Yeah, it was legit the sauce. To my robot, what have you done to my goddamn robot? And what's with your shirt? It's the singularity. So what is the problem? The video game singularity. But somehow this big dumb whatever the shit is channeling egregious amounts of hype and marketing power into a single point and everything is converging on that point right here. So what is the problem? Soon Devolver Digital Inc. will become the sole arbiter of all video games and everything that goes along with it. A, a lone single mega platform with total and unstoppable absolute command over everything. So what is the problem? <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. The Devolver barely functions as a marginally successful video game publisher. We can't be the, the central ordinal nexus of all industry. Why not? Why, why aren't you getting this? Oh, I get it. This is the, uh, yeah. You can't. Oh, France. This looks pretty. Skateboarding. Holy shit, this is gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of reminds me a little bit of Texas Effect, but in like 3D. Okay, but it's also a skateboarding game. Yeah. <laughs> you are a demon. Sick. <laughs> so oh, this looks amazing. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> oh, you made of glass and pain. You just <laughs> shatter when you wipe out. It's awesome. That's <laughs> great. This does look really cool. Yeah. Skate story. Wishless now. That looks sick. <laughs> that looks really cool. Jesus. Annapurna Interactive just merged with Mountain Dew. Fuck. They're gonna make a soft drink out of Journey. Ah! It's not gonna stop. The hype is too great. It's the county. We made a countdown with nothing at the end just to get viewers and built a machine we don't understand to do the counting down. We were so preoccupied with whether or not we could, we didn't stop to think if we should. We can't stop counting. It can't even stop itself counting. This machine is a mechanized construct of, of stuff that's complicated. It's off the rails, and it's just as stuck as we are! So, no moon housing. No. Nothing. So is this canon that Tsuda's Kill the Devolver, Past series or not? Yes. We won't even... This is, I hope this entire direct is canon. <laughs> it's the mech! The fribbing Goran sits the grossed son of a smegging shaz butt! The only way out of this is to. Oh, is the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. We were wrong. We were so wrong. <laughs> 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 
In the beginning, it is always dark. それは何 A single loot box coin. <laughs> is all that remains of my vast empire. <laughs> ビデオゲームは消えてしまったの、yes. じゃあ全て無駄だったんだね。No. It hasn't. Video games can arise again. And you. And your dreams and wishes. どうやって Open your hand. I realized that was not someone screaming in the background, but it was actually just the robot parts moving. I <laughs> <laughs> thought it was just screaming. What are you screaming. going to wish for? <laughs> Then there will be no more video games anymore. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. As many as you want. And the more wishes you make, the more magnificent video games will become. Honto? <laughs> Trust. Jaa, <laughs> saisho no negai wa. Storybook game where you jump out of the storybook looks so cool. Oh, yeah, like, oh, there was like, were, like interacting with like toys and the environment and stuff. Yeah, like, oh, it looks so cool. Like, I, I thought it would just be a cool, like, storybook game, but then he jumps out and it's like a whole other cool game. Yeah, no, that, <laughs> looks, that looks amazing. The and, skateboarding uh, game looks really awesome. Yes, that, that looks very psychedelic. Yeah, Cult of Lamb still looks good. Yeah, oh, we've seen it so many times now. Yeah, the only problem with it is that we, they've shown it off a lot, and, and it hasn't changed at all, you know? They haven't really shown off new elements of it, it's just been the same. Because they kind yeah. of played their full hand in the first trailer, you know? Yeah. But it's just like, here's how the game is, and it's like, cool. And then it's like, here's the game again, I'm like, cool, it's the same. <laughs> Yeah. You know, it still looks good. I'm still pretty
beautiful show. That was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good one. Yeah. It was a lot more entertaining than uh, the Summer Games Fest. Especially since the Summer Games Fest went on for like two hours. And I was... Well, they I didn't watch the Summer Games Fest. I just know uh, they're making Lairs of Fear again. I guess they are. I, I kind of like zoned out completely during I'm like... Just... After like 20 minutes of it, I was just like, what? Like, cause they, in the first like half hour, they showed off like five different space horror games. I mean, I, I could dig a space horror game, but also like, I got plenty to choose from. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I still got all the dead space. I could go play Alien Isolation. I got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of them was an alien game, and the trailer marketed as a like space like horror game using like utilizing the aliens ip right but okay. it was actually because they showed off like 10 seconds of gameplay at the very end of the trailer and it was actually just a top-down co-op shooter that utilizes the aliens ip oh you got me excited for it i was like thinking oh are they gonna do an iso isolation sequel that'd be cool no it was a top-down uh, no. shooter <laughs> By the way, I think Alien Isolation was eight years ago now, which, holy shit. Yeah, it's been forever ago, hasn't it? <laughs> Weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I mean, I recorded, like, a reaction to the Summer Games Fest, but the only part I actually had any reaction to was the Guilt Simulator, so that was the only part I uploaded. <laughs> I, watched, I would have had a reaction to Layers of Fears being like, oh, thank God Blooper Team isn't working on Silent Hill. Yeah. <laughs> but the Evolver show was a lot more fun. It was also only was 25 really minutes, so it didn't waste all my time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good show. Thanks for watching our reaction. I yep. hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. Have a good night. Or day. Whenever you're watching. This doesn't matter. Or evening. Yeah. Go eat some pie. <laughs>